friends this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com no more fear from exam please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 24 before going ahead with part 25 let's look at certain problems the problem says in a test experiment on a model airplane in a wind tunnel the flow speeds on the upper and lower surfaces of the wing are 70 meter per second and 63 meters per second. That means above and below the airplane, these are the values of the speeds of the fluid. What is the lift on the wing if the area is 2.5 meters square? Take the density of air to be 1.3 kg per meter cube. So, what do we see here? Speed of wind on the upper surface. So, on the upper surface, the speed of the wind that is V1 is equal to 70 meter per second. Similarly, the speed of the wind on lower surface that is V2 is equal to 63 meter per second. Now, area of the wing capital A is given as 2.5 meter per 2.5 meter square and the density of the air that is rho is equal to 1.3 kg per meter cube. So how do we calculate the value of dynamic lift? So let us apply Bernoulli's equation. Now according to Bernoulli's equation P plus half rho V square is equal to constant here also we did not consider the term h because in, in, even in this case there is no difference in height because the height will remain the same for both the wings of the airplane. So we can apply this equation. So we say P1 plus half rho V1 square is equal to P2 plus half rho V2 square. So from this we can say P2 minus P1 is equal to half rho V1 square minus V2 square. So this is the pressure difference between the upper and lower surfaces and this pressure difference gives rise to the dynamic lift. Therefore, what will be the dynamic lift? The dynamic lift is nothing but the force which arises due to this pressure difference. Therefore, dynamic lift denoted by F will be equal to this pressure difference P2 minus P1 into the cross-sectional area A. So, this will be the dynamic lift. Therefore, this will be equal to half rho V1 square minus V2 square into capital A. So we know the values of rho, v1, v2 and capital A. So we will put the values that is half into 1.3 into v1 square that is 70 square minus 63 square into cross sectional area that is 2.5. So this comes out to be 1.51 into 10 to the power 3 Newton. So this is the value of dynamic lift. So when we talk of dynamic lift, we mean to say that the force which is exerted due to the pressure difference between the upper and the lower surfaces of the fluids. Let us look at another problem. It states a fully loaded Boeing aircraft has a mass of 3.3 into 10 to the power 5 kg. Its total wing area is 500 meters square. It is in level flight with a speed of 960 kilometers per hour. Estimate the pressure difference between the lower and the upper surfaces of the wings. So in this case, we have to calculate the pressure difference. That is, we have to calculate delta P. Now, here we can say that when an aircraft is flying, the weight of the aircraft is basically balanced by 
the pressure or the dynamic lift exerted due to the pressure difference. Let us suppose if this is the aircraft. So the weight of the aircraft that is mg which acts in the downward direction is balanced by the dynamic lift. So what is dynamic lift? This is the dynamic lift. Now weight of the aircraft is nothing but mg and what is dynamic lift? It is basically the upward force which is exerted due to pressure difference. So pressure difference is P1 minus P2 into area or we can write P1 minus P2 as delta P. So we can say mg divided by A is equal to delta P that is the pressure difference. So pressure difference we have to calculate in this question. So M that is mass is given as 3.3 into 10 to the power 5. G is nothing but acceleration due to gravity 9.8 and A is the area, the total wing area is given as 500. So this comes out to be 6.5 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per meter square. So this would be the value of the pressure difference. Now, thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.